Kiroskiro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Any one of you in a dark, stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he would- Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Then, online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? 
Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. To the real world. Just cute. Huh. Then I might send you a special picture of chatting class. What's the point of being a Because Max wants everybody to see I'm not paying you. He plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a stand. To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. It looks like she's been gone for months. To all of you, American girls. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. With shiny smiles and plastic bodies I wish I had An American Girlfriend Empty could be good Nobody can see my meltdown Except for me Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example Man, of a photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the... I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Keep it together, Max. I can only go so far back in time. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. There you go, Victoria. My pencil case is still in the same place. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Bueller? Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could what do that What is going to me. on? Nothing has moved at all. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous... Early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or 
selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I know. So if anybody wants to question the portrait as modern narcissism, they could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. It's your turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters I have no doubt you all memorized, who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth of the self-portrait? Anybody? This does not bode well. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Who's after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary Ot I need to figure this out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreamy. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo. So, you see the dilemma? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. 
I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time. I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Why would I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Because Max wants everybody to see how he's I have to get my education off. See you. Yo, Daniel. You remember that it's payday? Tease me. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in and took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Well, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 I can no. help her. I have to rewind, now! Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever I'm even too scared to get near this psycho. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh shit! No! No, 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 no! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people no, trying to control me. Nobody has a gun! I should do something else. For this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open.